Hello. Good morning. Today is Sunday and I am going to church. I'm here at the church building and I'm about to go inside. I'm really early, about a half hour early, but I figure there might be people here, so I'll go. Sorry, I was looking to see if that was someone I knew. It wasn't someone I knew. I don't really know very many people at this building anymore. Um, but I went to upload the vlog and it didn't really work. I uploaded it and it got uploaded and then it was processing, but then I was really tired, so I was like, I'll just save it as a draft or something. Uh, I don't think, like that, that's definitely something that you can do on YouTube, but whatever I did, it deleted it. So I started to upload it again today and it's like 585 minutes. I was like, well, doesn't look like that's going up anytime soon. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Blair said he would help me. So hopefully I will go to his mom's house tonight where he's having dinner and he can help me figure out how to switch it from whatever it is in to something smaller or whatever so that the formatting's right so that it's faster to upload and maybe only takes an hour instead of taking like five hours or whatever, however long that is. So you know those times when you're talking to someone mm -hmm. And you're like, hey, we should totally hang out. That would be so much fun. Oh, that would be so cool. You, you're, you're a cool person. But that person, I guess I can go either way. Either you or that person, if you look at each other like physically, you're either way out of their league or they're way out of yours. Or something like that, you know? And so like, Physical attraction wise, or like, not even attraction, just like physically, the two of you just don't match up well. Like one is better than the other or whatever. And you're thinking in your head, like you're innocently thinking, hey, we should hang out. You seem like a pretty cool person. And then, then you stop talking to them and then you go away and you realize, huh, I either came off as a total creeper or I f they feel like a creeper to me, or something like that. I hate that the way the world views each other is that way, like that, that it's like that all the time. Like you don't even have to, I don't know, it's just like that and it's really dumb. I wish that we could squash that. Like I wanna be friends with people, not because I think well, they are good looking or something like that. Or, you know, I just want to be friends with people and I don't want them to think that I'm trying to come at them, you know? Like, come at me, bro. But like in the come hither kind of way. I don't want them to think that because that's not what I'm going for. I'm kind of going for like making friends and having people in my life instead of being alone like I always am recently. I have a lot of friends, but none of them really live here in Vegas. And if they do, they're married or they have significant others or they're like just really busy people. And so, I don't know. And then the people that I want to be my friends, for some reason, it's really hard to get them to be my friend because I feel like I'm intruding on their space because we're not actually that good of friends. So where is that point? Like, I don't even remember it really in friendships anymore. Like, where's the point where it's not weird to text them and be like come over you know where is that point where does what do you what do you think is the point in a friendship where you're like where you can talk to them and be like hey come over or like that's so dumb get over here you know kind of thing i don't know maybe i'm not making any sense Who knows? okay um anyway it's monday and I have decided that I need to start setting better goals. I was just reading this talk by um, a member of my church and his name is Marvin J. Ashton and he was talking about commitment and life goals and how we need to be committed to things. And something that he talked about was Abraham Lincoln and how Abraham Lincoln always said, you know, like everything I owe on hope to know in this life I owe to my 
um, mother and they didn't say like you don't often know what her last words were to him and her last words to him were be something Abe and um, I thought it was interesting that she said that to be something um, not be someone um, he talks about that how being someone and being something is different and something that he said is that true happiness is not made in getting something true happiness is becoming something um, this can be done by being committed to lofty goals. We cannot become something without commitment. And so, um, just in my life, I've always been, I've always started something and never finished it. And so, oh, almost a month ago when I committed myself to taking, um, a self portrait every day, taking a picture of myself every day for 30 days, just to see how I've grown from one day to 30. Um, I was really committed to it. And every day, sometimes at the end of the day, I forget and I'm like, oh man, I didn't do that today. Um, but that's how I feel about vlogging and blogging and um, the other goals that I have for my life right now is that I feel, I feel very committed to them. And I want that commitment feeling to stay because it's really important to be committed to goals and it's really important to to feel attached to them and though my goals are lofty and big like to not feel depressed <laughs> ever again and to get rid of anxiety and to become an awesome mom and an awesome wife one day um, they're big goals and they're going to take a long time to get to, but it's possible because in our lives we have a lot of options. We can, but there's just really, it goes down to two options. You know, you can either do it or not. There's no like halfway point. I mean, even if you half did it, you didn't actually do it. We just need to be positive and we need to work towards the positive and even though everything can come crashing down around us we just have to remember to that we're going somewhere because we have these goals and we have this this vision of what we want to do and what we want to be and if we're moving towards it then we're doing the right thing so even if everything falls down and everything fails if you're moving towards a good goal and you're going towards it then you're doing the right thing and you're on the right path and you're going to have success. You're going to have success maybe maybe not in the way that you thought, but definitely definitely you'll have success. You know what's annoying is when you go on your lunch and like I am right now, I'm on my lunch, right? And I was like, I'll go to Cafe Rio. It's not that far from my work and I'll be fine. And then you forget that you're trying to take your lunch at 12. I'm anyway, and you go to Cafe Rio and you realize it is packed. And you get in there and you stand in line for five minutes and you go nowhere. And so I left, right? And in the same parking lot is Chipotle. So I like drive past Chipotle. The line was out the door. I was like, seriously? End of summer plus lunch hour. Just like crazy, crazy busy. Like so many kids, so many teenagers, so many people. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll drive around here. And I was like, oh, I'll go to Whole Foods. Missed my turn off for Whole Foods. Then I'm like, okay, well, I'll just keep going down. And the last place before I go back to my work area, the area where I work is this Greek restaurant. So I'm going to go in there and eat. But it's really frustrating. It was really frustrating. It wasn't busy. That's the best part. And I got soda and fries with my gyro. Gy gyro? Gyro? I don't know how to say it. And this is what I got for lunch. Greek fries and an awesome, huge gyro. However you say it. Everyone, meet Stilly. Stiletto. Hey. Stilly is a dog that I am house-sitting or dog sitting. I'm house sitting and dog sitting anyway. Um, and he is super cute little guy, but very high maintenance. Um, anyway, 
I just got off of work and I decided I would take him for a walk because I'm gonna go to uh, my house and see my mom and dad because they've been gone out of town and so I'm gonna go see them and also update well not update but guess what so I went and ate that Greek food today and then I came back and my stomach hurt so bad and I don't think it's just Greek food I don't think it was just that food like that certain food I think it's like all foods <laughs> because like the past two weeks every time after I eat I get really bad stomach aches and so I'm thinking it is I don't know I'm thinking maybe I have like a gluten intolerance or something or I don't know something crazy and so I'm going to the doctor oh my goodness this dog is dragging me everywhere and he's like two pounds um I'm going to the doctor on Wednesday morning and I guess we'll see what happens but I have a feeling that I have like a gluten allergy. Where are we going? On the block. God's sake. How do you like it? Dad says I don't need a seatbelt. Papa said I could Papa said I could ride in here without a seatbelt on. I like it. Hi baby Oz. Hi baby girl. Hi. Hi baby. Hi go go. Hey. Hey. Hey you cute girl. Hey you cute girls. Hey. Ozzy. Go go loco. Hi. Hi, big girl. Oh, I'm here with Blair and Rachel. Oh, say hey, what's up? What's up, girl? They vlogged too. Girl. Are we vlogging? <laughs> they they vlogged before I vlogged, but I I introduced Blair to vlogging. Yeah. Because I'm cool like that. You're like the person who didn't get into it but loved watching it, and I don't know what I'm saying. Don't put the camera on me. Whatever. I I love it. I love it. I he's not camera shy. Chip. I have so many dogs on my vlog today. This is the fourth one. That's Chip. Chip's gonna go outside. Come on, Chip. That's cool. Uh, Blair got a little mini helicopter for his birthday. And it reminds me of um, Richie Rich, that little bee. Why is there so much hair in here? <laughs> Did you get it in Rachel's hair? No, we got it out of his mom's house. Oh, there's a lot of hair. There's a lot of hair. Can you see the hair? You can't really see it. No, it's not dog hair. This is human hair. That's Rachel hair. It's it's long and and it's yours. I don't know. He never found it upstairs though. Weird. I don't know. I think it just gets it from like the couch or something. It just appears. He just loves hair so much. So much. Gross. Si. Yeah, so donut with ice cream and graham crackers. Heat it up, baby. So if I'm gluten intolerant, it's still going down. <laughs> still going down. And then Ray can't decide what she wants. This is not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not. It's never fun to try and because decide what you want. So now I want to try the other things, but then you I'm should, satisfied. You should try the other thing. And you can have some of my donut if you want. What if... Oh, can we taste it? I don't know. It, it's, it's epic. This place is called Yuki. It's off of Durango and... Farm. Farm. Farm in Durango. Come if you want. If you live in Vegas. Looks delicious. It is delicious. Wait, is this the that? Be careful, it's hot. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, that is hot. No, it's <sighs> so delicious. 